Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure, also known as Second Setsu, also known as the first mana game. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start a new game. And, uh, oh, tree of mana grows with the energy of will from each and everything of this world. It grows high above the clouds in the air on top of Mount Illusia. Legend tells that it gives eternal power to the one who touched it. Only one person ever touched it? Dark Lord was trying to find the way to the Tree of Mana to get the mighty power to conquer the world. Alrighty. So, uh, um, is that, oh, I get to choose my name. Let's see here. Uh, uh, oh, how do I go back? Uh, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. Ba oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. B. A. S. Oh. I I know my letters. That's an S. That's a T. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's just going to be best. Alrighty then. Whatever. Okay. Oh, the girl. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll call her, uh, 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 no, um, let's see, let's just call her, ah, uh, I should have thought of all of this before I actually started playing, huh? Okay, how about let's call her... I have no idea. Um... Huh. 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 Um... Fine, let's just make up a name off the top of our heads. Liss. There, that sounds good. Liss. Okay. So, for those not familiar, uh, this game is uh, Square's attempt at doing taking Final Fantasy into an action adventure genre. Um, they were really trying to capture some of the Zelda audience, but they just wanted to use what they already had going on with Final Fantasy. So you'll see that when it comes to items and spells, uh, they will have uh, Final Fantasy names for them. Well, at least the names that uh, the names that they used to use back in the day before, I would say Final Fantasy VII, I think, is when everything started changing over here. Um, so this is just telling us that were like gladiators kept by Dark Lord to fight for his entertainment and uh, and whatnot. And here's my fellow gladiator friend, Willie. Mana is in danger now. We must let the Geminites or Geminites, I don't know. I think it's Geminites know about it. Gemma? See Bogard at the falls. He is a Geminite. He should know what to do. Geminite was actually one of the original names for this game. This game has a very strange history, and it's part of its strange history is its name was at one point Geminite. Gemma? Mana? What are they? Willy? Willy? Poor Willy. Willy passed away. Which should shock some of you if you've ever played uh, Sword of Mana, which is a, kind of a reimagining of this game. It's not really a remake. It's more like a completely brand new take on it. I'll avenge you! Uh, 
But, um, yeah, in, in Sword of Mana, Willy doesn't die. <laughs> uh, so that has caused some of the old school Mana fans to be kind of annoyed. So who are these people? Amanda. I'm sorry about Willy. We have to get out of here. I want to go home and see my little brother. The entrance for the monsters leads to outside. Take your chance. Yes, I know. You just told me. Take your chance. Okay. The annoying thing about this game is that if you just bump into a, uh, a non-player character, they repeat their same sentence over and over again. Unlike in Zelda, you have to like walk up to somebody and press a button for them to talk. And I feel like that's true also in regular old Final Fantasy games from the era that this game was made. Uh, you would just walk uh, up to somebody and press a button and then they would talk, but uh, not so much, not so much with this game, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, whoa. So yeah, this, uh, the fighting style is very, very Zelda-like. It's just, or at least I should say old school Zelda-like. It's overhead perspective. You've got a sword. You go around, uh, swinging your sword at guys. It's, um, specifically... It's like a weird mix of original Legend of Zelda and Adventure, or rather, original Legend of Zelda and uh, A Link to the Past. Dark Lord and Julius, what's going on? You say the mana tree is above the falls? Yes, sir, the tree is in a shrine up there. How do I get there? Up the falls? Miracles occur sometimes, Sir Dark Lord. How? A girl has the key to it. Good work. And then, uh... Dark Lord sees that I'm here. Oh no! He sees me! I've gotta run away! I'm running! And then falls. Just like in Secret of Mana, and... Also in 2nd Densetsu 3, there's also waterfalls that you fall down. I really like main characters falling down waterfalls for some reason or other. It's kind of strange. Okay, so let's see here. Let's wake up. Where am I? Where is this? Let's go kill things. So there are very few uh, theme songs in this game, unfortunately, so hopefully that doesn't annoy you too much. Um, there's just this for the entire overworld, and then there's like one dungeon theme, and that's basically it. Uh, so as you can see, this is very similar to Zelda 1. I think intentionally, it's screen by screen, you've kind of got to... Uh, uh, you can, you know, either go up or down or left or right in most cases, and then it scrolls over to the next screen like you just saw happen. Um, what's kind of interesting is... Whoops, I was not paying attention to my health whatsoever. Oh, dear. Oh my gosh, I've got to start over completely. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so we'll just zip straight through <laughs> through this. Uh, okay. Girl is... What? What do we call her again? L... Y... S... Okay. Ugh. Alrighty. Okay, so now we can talk more about the history of this game. So way back before Final Fantasy 1 uh, came out, or was even being developed, um, Square put out a an advertisement. It was Square and Squaresoft were not the, or Square and Square Enix were not the same company back then. Those were two completely separate competitor companies. And Enix put out uh, the first 
two Dragon Quest games by that point, and Square really wanted to do their own uh, role-playing game. So they uh, decided they were going to put out a game called Second and Setsu, and, uh, and that was going to be their big uh, role-playing game. And what's interesting about that is, so Second and Setsu, which is Japanese for... Or I guess it's pronounced Seiken, I learned like a year ago. Um, means Legend of the Holy Sword. Uh, so they put out uh, Seiken Densetsu. Well, they were going to have a, a big, huge... I forget how many discs of the Famicom uh, disc system they said it would be, but a lot of discs. And it was going to be this big, gigantic game and then they just couldn't finish it. But the, even <laughs> the hilarious part is though they they even let you pre-order this game that apparently they were not even very far into developing whatsoever. And uh, yeah, so they they weren't able to actually release it. So then they had that name trademarked, so they figured they would just use it at some point. So. Then they made Final Fantasy, and I'm sure you all know the story about the reason why it's called Final Fantasy is because Square thought it might be their very last game ever, and so it was going to be their final fantasy. They they thought that the, the, their company was going to have to disband because things weren't going so well. Um, however, they did release Final Fantasy, and it did super well. So, uh, so yeah, then they decided that they would go ahead and wait, um, wait for, I forget what this bar is that's slowly refilling. Is this my life? No, my HP is staying the same at 15. I was thinking of East for a second there, where if you stand still, your life refills. I am not remembering what this bar is, but I'm going to go ahead and let it refill. I think this is the bar that lets me do super special attacks or something. Um, so, so anyways, Final Fantasy did very well, and uh, then when the Game Boy came out, they really wanted to do some sort of um, release, Final Fantasy release for the Game Boy, but they knew that, you know, it, kids want action games like Zelda. Zelda was doing super well at that point. I think A Link to the Past had already come out at that point. So they decided to go ahead and uh, create this game, which was supposed to be like a Final Fantasy side story, which is why actually over in Japan, this is called Final Fantasy Gaiden colon uh, Second Densetsu. So it, it it's definitely linked to Final Fantasy as well over there. Of course, when it came out over here, they didn't want to call it Legend of the Holy Sword, so they just called it Final Fantasy Adventure. Which makes sense because it's an adventure game and and all that stuff, so... Oh, jeez, come on. Uh, yeah, I better save after this, huh? <laughs> That's the other interesting thing about this game, is it will let you save literally anywhere at any time, which can be a problem, because I remember... I, I've only played this game once before, and I remember the very first time that I played it, I saved in a room... Uh, where I didn't have any way of escaping for some reason or other, so I was literally stuck in this room and had to start over from scratch, or I forget what I did, how, how I got out of that predicament. Okay, so we're falling down the falls, we wake up again. Jeez, deja vu, I feel like this has already happened. But, like, you'll notice that even things like, uh, like the border around this, it, it is exactly like Final Fantasy back in the day. I haven't really played any recent Final Fantasy games, so I have no idea if that's still what borders look like, but the white, rounded thing going on. Uh, so... Now we've saved, so we never have to do that again. That's good, right, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember where the dungeons are in this game, but if I remember right, the game is a little more linear than the original Legend of Zelda was. Uh, you get things like a hookshot in here. Oh, actually, 
I take it back when I said that um, that this game came out uh, after A Link to the Past. I'm pretty sure it came out before A Link to the Past, which is why when there was a hookshot style weapon in this, which I think they just called the Morning Star or something like that, um, and then that uh, later appeared in A Link to the Past, I was like, hmm, did A Link to the Past rip off Final Fantasy Adventure? Yay, I gained a level! Huzzah. Level up. I will level up my power. I found candy! So, uh, yep. It's definitely a mana game. You find candy. Help! Help! This is where I get to meet my first companion, I think. Or not. No, Hussein. Oh, Hussein is the guy's name. Oh, please take this girl to Wendell and see Bogart. He will take care of the rest. Hussein, Hussein. Hussein passed away. Everybody dies. <laughs> like in this very first beginning of this game, we've had two dead characters. That never really happens in a Zelda game, that's for sure. I'm looking for that Bogard too. Why don't you come with me? Oh, can I? I can't leave you here alone. I am Bast. Call me Lissa. Oh, interesting. I think I invented that name for you just a second ago. Um, yeah, I guess I should warn you, I should have started with this up at the top instead of at the end of the video, but since this is a single player game, uh, it's, it's just me. There's no Rick or Travis here along for the ride, so... And uh, let, let's just be honest here, they're the ones that are really the most uh, interesting when it comes to these Let's Plays on this channel, so... I don't blame you at all if you decide that uh, without Rick or Travis, this isn't really your cup of tea. Uh, I just really wanted to play this game. I, today, I was having some frustrating issues. Oh wow, my HP is really, really low. Uh, I was having some very frustrating issues with uh, YouTube, um, but it's not just me, it's every, every YouTuber had super annoying issues with them where for the past two days we haven't been uploading, we have not been able to upload anything. Which is very frustrating. Uh, so rather than just sit and stew about that, uh, I decided, well, this isn't going to help the channel at all because I won't be able to upload these f until goodness knows when, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, well, I died. And I really should have saved after negating the girl, so... Next time you, in next episode, you will see me right back at that spot. So, uh, see you then, guys. Bye.